Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So you might be wondering, Eve, why are you like vlogging? Basically, I'm... Mm, it's currently September of 2017 and obviously this year I'm applying to university. And so many of you have asked, like, can you do a video about what uni you're applying to? Can you like do a UCAS video? But I didn't want to like make a video now about what I'm doing and then like have to keep updating it. So essentially, throughout the year with the university process I'm just gonna vlog like each time I have an update so obviously like if I get offers um, interviews whatever um, I'm just gonna keep you updated on this video and then once I've got all my offers um, then I can upload this video and it can be like an actual video so I will let you know once I have you know Ha like sent it off if I get called to interview or if I have to hand in written work or what happens um, and then hopefully this video should be all nice and concluded by the 10th of January which is when Oxford tells you whether or not they're rejecting you which is the day before my 18th birthday so that's great <laughs> but yeah that is my first update um, I'll see you again in October I imagine when I send off my application <laughs> thought I would give you a quick UCAS update. Um, basically, let's take my hair out. Um, I haven't applied yet. Um, I know I said that this, the next time I would say something would be when I've applied, but actually, I just wanted to say that I am on draft number four for my personal statement, and I didn't really think it would take this long. And I just want to register how long it's taken to get it done. Not only to get it under the character count, which I still haven't done, um, but also to like weather like everyone's feedback. So like, I've been doing it with my English teacher, who's an absolute gem, and has been so 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 helpful. And like, I trust her advice like hundred percent. But I've also got feedback from Unique, which is like totally different to what she said. And I've also got feedback from other teachers, which is totally different. And like, basically, there's just so much conflicting feedback. And this is what it looks like at the moment. Um, so yeah the deadline for school is next friday so i've got a while but i have another 10 million meetings this week with teachers to sort it out um and then i just want to apply because i'm not gonna lie at this point i just want some offers like i don't really care who they're from just to know that i will be going to university the next year if i get the grades would be nice um preferably yes <laughs> So I'm just vlogging because I thought I'd update you. I've just sent my UCAS application off. It's gone. It's the 5th of October today. I sent it today. I'm now walking home from school because I stayed late to finish it. But it's done. I sent off. Just got to check my reference over. And hopefully by tomorrow evening it will be with the universities. What stress. What stress. Hello everybody, so I thought I would just update you once more. So today is the 6th of October um, and I sent my application off yesterday. Well, basically, I sent it off yesterday, but I was getting paranoid about like my reference, like and just making sure that like they hadn't said anything wrong. And it's so like such a good job that I went and checked because they actually put something wrong in my reference, which was totally like fine, whatever. It was an accident. Um, but I'm glad that I got to check and they also didn't have my predicted grade for Spanish properly. Um, they'd put an A and it's not an A, it's an A star. And I was really like, ah, no, please, can you put that as an A star? Because it is an A star. So they sorted that, sent it off. And um, they sent it off at half past three today. It's currently half past four. And I've just got the email from UCAS being like, hey, we've got your application. We've sent it to the universities. So now I have track, um, which I'll show you now. So on track, it's got all of my five decisions. It's got Exeter, Durham, um, Oxford, University of Bristol and Edinburgh. Um, so I've got a wait. I can still substitute if I want to, but at the moment I can't think of me wanting to substitute. Um, but so this is what track looks like. It says, your status, five universities or colleges are considering your application. There have been no recent updates. You need to wait until you've received decisions from all of the choices. So there's not really much more that I can actually do now. Hey guys, so it's been a week since I sent my application in now. Well, no, actually that's a lie. It's been six days. And I don't know if you know me, I'm not a very patient person. So I actually thought I'd be quite relieved when I sent it off, but I actually feel worse because people that have applied for maths and sciences and physics and things like that, physics is a science, um, have started to get offers 
and I'm a bit like, I wish I'd applied for science now, because I'd rather just have, like, I just want one. Do you know what I mean? I don't care about, like, when any of the other offers come in. I just want one, like, just one, so I know that I'm going to university, at least. Um, I'm really impatient, and seeing people get offers is just, like, stress. Not that I'm not happy for them, of course I'm happy for them, but, like, Exeter, Ibs, I feel like you've warned me. Like, people have been getting offers from Exeter, and I haven't even had, like, what's it called? An acknowledgement email, and I'm like, okay, cool. But, yeah, that's that's how I'm feeling right now. I know it's only been a week, and, like, I shouldn't expect an offer after a week, but at the same time, people have been getting offers, so I'm a bit like, what am I doing wrong? But, hey, it's probably because my application has to go through two departments, so that's what I'm telling myself anyway. Uh, Hey guys, so I'm sorry I look like an absolute mess. I just realised I forgot to do this, but I just got my new laptop, which is here, and basically um, I was putting my bookmarks like on my new laptop, like the websites that I use all the time, so like Quizlet, Caboodle and things, and I went to put UCAS track on by bookmarks because obviously like I'm checking it constantly. I haven't actually checked it today, and um, I went to log into track so I could save my password on this computer and <laughs> I logged in and literally the, the minute I logged in like at 16.48 it was like Bristol has given you a place and I was like ah! So yeah I've just got an offer from Bristol University um, subject to me getting ABB um, so that's exciting. I just wanted the one offer for the validation so now I can relax. Um, I literally just wanted one offer just so I knew that I wasn't a complete failure so yeah that's my latest update to Bristol thanks thanks for that one guys <laughs> hey guys I know I look absolutely horrible I feel like this video is just being you like finding out how I look like most of the time um, note the stress spots love it um, but <laughs> um, I forgot to say earlier actually I don't know why I didn't like remember to do it but I actually got an offer again today um, it's the day after I got my offer from Bristol, and exactly 24 hours, like to the minute pretty much, um, that I got my offer from Bristol, I also got an offer from Exeter, um, which I'm really excited about, because Exeter's like one of my top choices, um, so I'm really excited about that, um, I think the offer was AAB, um, and Bristol was ABB, so, so far, so good. I don't think I'll get any more for quite a while now, because I've heard that Durham, Edinburgh are very slow, and Oxford obviously I won't find out till January anyway, so, yeah exciting times hey guys so it's currently the 1st of november um the reason i've got a blanket on my head is because i've been sat here revising for this damn admissions test which is tomorrow <laughs> i've i've kind of just done like grammar work like since the summer like i've been working on my grammar and i know that i couldn't really have done much more without it being a stupid amount to revise for a test and I've done past papers and they've gone okay so I'm just hoping that it's not horrible tomorrow because if it is I don't know what I'm gonna do um but yeah I'm so nervous now like I haven't been stressed about it at all and all of a sudden it's just hit me like a ton of bricks that it's tomorrow and I'm feeling a lot of pressure because I know that my interview is not going to go very well so if I can like get to interview at least the rest of my application will be good if I can do this right. Um, but parents evening was today and the teachers so lovely of course. They're always lovely in our place. But they were like, Oh, if if you don't get in, who will? And I'm like <laughs> literally the rest of the bloody country. But yeah. <laughs> That's my update for this video. Hey guys, I totally forgot um actually to update you yesterday. Um, it's Friday now, um, so my admissions test was yesterday, and, oh, no, <laughs> I'd like, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit annoyed, because I, I feel like I revised, like, quite hard for that test, in that, like, I've been doing grammar, solidly, like, all the time, which I don't usually do, just so I could get myself up to the standard that I needed to be for, like, this test, and when I got in there, I was just so nervous, that I just made mistakes that I literally never make, like literally the stupidest spelling mistakes that I've literally never done before in my life. Like, <sighs> but yeah, it's over now. I think German went better than Spanish, considerably, like a lot better. 
Um, I would like to think I've done okay on German, I think. I think I've probably made some stupid mistakes that I haven't thought of yet. But me going through everything, I think I've done okay. Spanish, on the other hand. <laughs> Jokes. Like, literally just the stupidest things. Like, putting Kayeran instead of Kayaran. No, Kayaran instead of Kayaran. Like, I know that it's Kayaran. Like, I know it is, but I just didn't write it. I just wrote Kayaran because I'm stupid. And I put Pilotes instead of Pilotos, even though I know it's Pilotos because I've never heard the word Pilotes in my life before. Things like that. And I swear to God, I've just sat and done my Spanish homework. And it was like, um, basically, one of the translations was like, we were about to do something. And I know that in Spanish, about to do something is a punto de, right? I know that. What did I put? En punto de. Because I was second guessing myself so much that I was like, nah, it's not a, it's not a, it's en. And I did the same with a favor de. Same thing. Same in German. Right, there's a word, the word for German, no, the word in German for C is mehr, right? So the word was middle, mare, middle, sea. It's the Mediterranean Sea. I know that. Of course I do. I know the names of all the seas in German, even though I don't know the names of the seas in English. Whatever. Anyway, so I put Mediterranean Sea. And then my brain was like, no, Eve, what if it's not? What if it's a trick question? So I crossed it out and put the Med Middle East. It's literally the word for sea. They're going to think I'm so sick, guys. <laughs> oh, my dreams of getting into Oxford have been shattered. But hey. I tried. I just really want to like send them a message and show them the other papers that I've done and be like, look, I promise I'm not that stupid. It's just exam nerves that gets me so much. And like, I don't know, I wish you could put a disclaimer being like, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, oh well, I tried. <laughs> hey guys, I'm clearly looking great right now. I mean, I've got a turban on my head. Um, but I completely forgot to update my UCAS video. Um, Life has just been a bit cray cray with the driving test and everything and I was so worried about my driving test that I kind of like brushed this to one side um, but on Friday actually I got an offer from Durham um, I don't know what day it was like the 18th of November, 17th of November anyway I had kind of given up checking UCAS track because I knew that Durham and Edinburgh just don't give out offers till January usually so when I got a track notification I thought it was Oxford being like nah sorry we don't want you <laughs> Um, and then I opened it and it's like, hey, um, so yeah, we here at Durham really want you to come and uh, study with us. I was like, and then I was like, oh, but it's AAA. And then I clicked on the grades and it was AAP. I was like, thank you for lowering my grade requirements, Durham. I appreciate it. But yeah, three out of five now. Um, so far, so good. I've already started rereading all of the books that I put in my personal statement. But I haven't even got called to interview yet. So, I don't really know why I'm doing that, but I also don't want to leave it till the week before and then want to die. So, yeah, that's the situation at the moment. Hey guys, so I just got back from school. Today is the 27th of November, I think. And just got invited to interview at Oxford. I was actually the last person at my school <laughs> to find out. So everyone was like, oh my god, have you heard? Have you heard? And I was like, no, haven't. Um, but yeah, I just got news that I'm going up from the 6th to the 9th. So gonna be like a little holiday <laughs> but yeah now i've got to go and fill out all the forms and stuff for school so yeah but yeah exciting exciting now i've got to prepare for it though that's a lot of books to reread mm. hey guys i haven't even brushed my hair today um it's today is the 12th of december um so i've had my i've had my oxford interviews and that went down the shitter so i was like oh well which uni do i like and I was like, oh, Edinburgh, <laughs> ironic, because they're the only ones that hadn't offered me a place. And they don't even consider UK applicants till January. When I went to my when, when I went to the Asian day, they were like, we don't even look at you, like, don't even think you're going to get an offer. And then they've just offered me a place. Yep, Jess, I feel the same. Like, and as well, they've offered me ABB, which is lower than it's supposed to be. Um, so, that's nice. Um, yeah. Um, got an offer from Edinburgh, so it looks like I'm going to Edinburgh, kids, because upon long consideration, I just don't think I can go to Durham, I just don't think I can go to any of them really, apart from Edinburgh, so now I've got all my offers, pretty, well, I've got all my offers, I've just got to wait for Oxford to reject me, and then I can put, oh no, no, because if I put, if I put Edinburgh as my phone, I'm going to have to put Bristol as my insurance, which is the same grades, 
so hmm, anyway issues for another time <laughs> hi guys so i'm actually wearing the same jumper as my last clip um although i'm pretty sure it's about two three weeks later and i also have way bigger bags under my eyes and way more spots can you tell that mock's coming up because i can um so i just wanted to give this video an update uh, it's currently 1st of Jan, 2018, new year, new me, new spots, um, and I am very nervous, I'm not gonna lie, every day I just keep thinking like, oh my god, it's 10th of Jan, and watching back this video, it's just reminded me, because I was editing it before I had a free moment, um, and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe it's in 10 days, um, I've been doing preparations for my birthday party as well, that's depressing me because I know that I'm going to be miserable and like, I don't know, it's just annoying when you really want something and then like on the day you just mess it up and it's that one day that ruins it for you, so it was that one admissions test and that one interview. But hey, I just thought I'd update this video to let you know that I haven't just ditched you, you are still in my thoughts, you cast video. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, this video will be going up in, in 10 days, so, oh my god crazy i have decided that edinburgh is my next choice if i don't get into oxford because i just can't i can't do durham i do like it i just don't like the atmosphere there um and i don't want to just go somewhere just because it's a better uni when i'd rather go somewhere i'm happy so yeah edinburgh is looking like the one i'm really just laughing at how different i look in this clip compared to my old i look so exhausted i feel like this vlog has not just been a uni vlog it's also been a year 13 vlog this is the point we've reached i love a level so much guys i do but on the bright side <laughs> because edinburgh only want abv and oxford aren't gonna take me they only need abv so i suppose every cloud guys every cloud's got silver lining hi guys so i'm just updating this at 20 to 12 um it's tomorrow, like, coming up, um, uh, I'm not really, like, showing my full face because my skin is literally shockingly bad. Um, but yeah, it kind of feels like Christmas, but, like, the complete opposite of Christmas, if you know what I mean. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight, I'm just watching Friends, um, hoping that that will send me to sleep. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel now. I just want to get it done, to be honest, because I know what the answer is going to be, and I know it's going to kill me, and... But yeah, I'm going to go to bed now, um, and hopefully all of this hell um, will be over by tomorrow and I can just get over it and move on with my life, so yeah. Hi guys, so I thought I'd just give this video one last update. It's currently 5 past 3 on the 10th of January, and I actually found out this morning that I've got an offer from Oxford University. <laughs> I can't. I literally still can't even say it. I, I was so like buzzing um but I, I literally just can't like i opened it at half eight this morning they sent me an informal email to tell me that they've given me an offer and i got the letter in the post um confirming that so i have to get aaa um so i can't be too happy just yet but <laughs> i literally i'm so excited i just can't believe i've got an offer and so many of my friends got offers too and i'm so so happy for them and i know that if they haven't got an offer it doesn't matter because they're gonna do so well wherever they go and i just I can't. This has literally been like my biggest, not dream, okay, well, yeah, like a dream since I was literally like a child. So to get an offer to do something that I love at a university I love with people I love, like so many of the girls that I met on interview and girls that I met on summer schools have all got in, and it's just gonna be so exciting. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, um, any video requests you have, um, just anything in general, and yeah, I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye, guys. Mwah.